Okay, so little result by little result, we're working towards classifying the natural numbers for which there are primitive roots um, and those which there are not. So uh, our next result will be the following. So let's P be an odd prime and A be a primitive root modulo P such that A to the P minus one is not congruent to one mod P squared. So we just proved a result that uh, it's possible to find that type of primitive root. Then A to the P to the N minus two times P minus one is not congruent to one mod P to the N for all N bigger than or equal to two. So uh, we'll do this by induction. And uh, let's notice that our base case, um, which is n equals 2, uh, is in the hypothesis. And further, we know that we proved that it was possible to have that in the hypothesis by uh, the previous result. Great, so now let's take our induction hypothesis. In other words, uh, we suppose for some k bigger than or equal to 2, we know that a to the p to the k minus 2 times p minus 1 is not congruent to 1 modulo uh, p to the k. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is the following. Let's notice that phi of p to the k minus 1 equals p to the k minus 1 minus minus p to the k minus 2, which equals p to the k minus 2 times p minus 1. Good. So what that tells us is that a to the p to the k minus 2 times p minus 1 equals a to the phi of p k minus 1, which is congruent to 1 modulo p to the k minus 1. Okay, good. But what that tells us is that we can write um, a to the p to the k minus 2 times p minus 1 equals 1 plus l times p to the k minus 1. Using uh, the definition of this like equivalence modulo p to the k minus 1. Okay, great. So now notice that uh, also we'll notice that uh, p cannot divide a. Otherwise, a is not a primitive root modulo p. And the next thing we want to do is raise each side of this to the p power and see what we get. So if we take a to the p to the k minus 2 to the pth power, we're going to get a to the p to the k minus 1 times p minus 1. Good. And so this is going to be equal to 1 plus l times p to the k minus 1 all to the pth power. Okay, good. But now notice that is equal to 1 plus um, p times... Um, let's see what we get. L P to the K minus 1. Good. Plus P to the K plus 1 times all of the rest. Okay, so let's talk our way through this. So if we raise this to the P power with the binomial expansion theorem, we get 1 to the P and then 1 to the P minus 1 times this to the first power. And then every other term will have this factor squared and higher. But if you have this factor squared and higher, you can factor a p to the k plus 1 out of all of those, which tells us that all of this is congruent to 1 plus p times l, p to the k, sorry, yeah, p times l times p to the k minus 1, uh, modulo p to the k plus 1. Okay, good. And then also notice that uh, this is not congruent to 1 modulo p to the k plus 1. 
Okay, and so notice we have this is not congruent to 1 mod p to the k plus 1, and we know that because p cannot divide L, because if p does divide L, then we can write a to the p to the k minus 2 times p minus 1 equals 1 plus a multiple of p to the k, which would contradict this original assumption. And that finishes the proof.